Fondazione Sicilia, a short journey of discovery of a remarkable cultural heritage. Fondazione Sicilia was founded in 1991 with the aim of promoting the social, economic and cultural development of Sicily. Its notable heritage is primarily an artistic one, from paintings to bronzes, from the archaeological collection to coins and stamps, an important artistic heritage that had to be exhibited. Hence, the idea was born in the following years to acquire Villa Zito, already occupied by Fondazione Sicilia, and Palazzo Branciforte. We decided to have them restored, and for the restoration of Palazzo Branciforte, we turned to the eminent architect Gaia Lenti. The intention was not just to restore a building, rather to initiate an urban redevelopment scheme that would renovate and revitalize the entire area, creating a real cultural center. Fondazione Sicilia represents a number of territorial institutions. Among the commissioning organizations, there is the region, there are several municipalities, there are public and private universities, there are chambers of commerce, Confindustria and Conf Sicilia, organizations which represent the entire territory. Thanks to the ingenuity of Gaia Lenti, we have managed to put our entire archaeological collection on display. It is a substantial collection originating from Sicily itself. In fact, most of the excavated exhibits are from Selinunte, from the excavations that were carried out at the time by the superintendent Vincenzo Tuza. It is an exhibition of considerable importance which bears witness to the role played by the Banco Sicilia in this region. As an institution governed by public law, Banco Sicilia at that time also financed the excavations. Banks would never make such an investment today. This heritage, however, has remained within the foundation, and I believe that it has made the most of it. Fondazione Sicilia has gathered together all the bronzes from the various branches of Banco Sicilia, which are now exhibited at Palazzo Branciforte. It is a remarkable collection, ranging from local artists from Geraci to Mitorai. There is also a vast collection of coins of considerable importance. and a collection of stamps belonging to the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. The extensive library is filled with thousands of books, many of which are on legal and economic subjects, but also about art, history, as well as several books published by the Foundation itself. Of particular note is the resplendent and immense ceiling fresco by Moncada. Palazzo Branciforte was the headquarters of the ancient Monte dei Pegni di Santa Rosalia, still preserved there today, where the less well-off deposited their trousseau in order to fund their dreams of emigrating to America. It is a place of striking appeal, of historical memories, where the Pupi, the renowned Sicilian puppets, and their theatres are kept, which once belonged to the master Cuticchio. The Sicilian puppets have been designated an intangible UNESCO heritage and therefore this exhibition has ensured that a popular tradition such as that of puppet making, but above all that of the performance of puppet theatre, remains and will remain in our memory and in history, preserved within our palace. Gaia Lenti's original plan for Palazzo Branciforte was to create not just a container for the Foundation's collections, but a cultural focal point, 
a living hub, a place in which people could have an experience. Well, I believe that the Foundation has achieved this aim. Several years after its inauguration in 2012, in the presence of President Napolitano, we can truly say that Palazzo Branciforte is a place that is lived in. A collection of ancient Maiolica completes the collections that can be visited. Fondazione Sicilia's other site is Villa Zito, where our collection of paintings is kept. Over 1,000 paintings have entered the foundation from Banco Sicilia. A part of them have been exhibited on a route that starts from the 7th century and extends all the way up to the 1900s. We have painters of the school of Caravaggio. We have Sicilian painters of the 19th century. Paintings by Loyacono, by Leto. And above all, we also have 20th century paintings, including those by the masters Guttuso and Siciliano. The Fondazione Sicilia has always been committed to the cultural growth of the region with calls each year for proposals dedicated to projects of development or rediscovery of the territory. In addition, Villa Zito is also home to an immense historical archive belonging to Banco Sicilia. Exceptional evidence of the economic past of the island Palazzo Branciforte and Villa Zito are not only the containers of collections, but also living places open and accessible to the public. With conference and screening rooms for the presentation of books or exhibitions, and cooking classes, curated by Gambro Rosso. There are high-quality cafes and restaurants, where typical products and Mediterranean flavours can be savoured, while enjoying a pleasant break. <laughs>